I had a few minutes to spare in Poplar Bluff, Missouri one day, and that means finding the downtown where all the interesting old buildings are. While this bit looks a bit worse for wear, there is a popular enough main street for a city council and a couple of entrepreneurs to play with. It was cool to see they appeared to be having success taking the preservation of their historic train station seriously. But the most interesting thing I could find on a moment's notice was the Rogers Theater, or the historic Rogers Theater as it is sometimes referred. And yes, I'm certain this time it is in fact a theater. Said to be 70 years old, there is a curious marking of 1970 by the doors, finished in the finest pearlescent patina paint. This place isn't half as abandoned as it looks. At the time, as well as in recent months, stage productions are still held here routinely, and I think the movie information seen on the marquee in this November 2021 footage was current. A section of the building has been transformed into a reception space. Now there's usually two sides to every story, and usually you don't get both. But between a crumb of internet observation and a happenstance in-depth conversation with a local who just so happened to have had years of involvement and privy to the venue, here is my outsider observation report. If you've seen some of the sort of things I like to make videos about, you can probably correctly guess that I'm all for saving things like historic theaters in small towns with tenuous economies. Obviously, this place was neglected by previous owners, but there seems to be a clear hand-to-mouth effort to restore this rare Poplar Bluff heritage icon over the last decade or so. Online reviews bearing criticism complain about the general condition of things, the troublesome HVAC, and their vigorous battle with mold, even when they actually like the theater. However, many of these were vehemently explained, excused, and apologized for by the apparent owner, a gutsy, admirable move probably not advised in the business owner's unwritten playbook. But their struggles are apparent, and progress is unspectacular, due to lack of funding primarily, which tends to be the most popular reason. From my candid conversation, it seems there may be reasons for the plotting progress, as personal, unfounded allegations of things not quite right were relayed to me, such as accounting fund handling, political power conflicts, and poor treatment of production companies, while charging at least a double market rate for their reception space. I cannot speak to any true motivations of either of these parties, much less their facts. It's not my fight or problem. But I can tell you what the motivation is for me with making these videos. Here is a historical place, as any number of which I appreciate the mere existence of, and I was there to see and film in person as I found it when I got there. I've created and captured a unique, irreplicable moment to complement the historical records of humanity, albeit with a cheap and common recording device. There are countless little historic places and underheralded efforts to bring us pleasant existing and happiness that have been physically erased from real life, as they all will be one day, and many of them have an undersatisfying volume of photographic record or sources. For whatever explanation I can offer of having some sort of nostalgic soul, I guess, the mere act of recording actual, little acknowledged topics seems to be quite satisfying to me. Any satisfaction you may get out of this video is therefore your own problem. Thank you for watching.